Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome indeed. Um, so if you've been following my channel, you'll know that one of the supplements I take on a daily basis is vitamin D. Uh, you'll also know that if you follow David Sinclair, he also takes vitamin D as part of his daily supplementation. Um, I thought it'd be important to do a vitamin D video and also highlight the, um, the relevance or the need to take vitamin D with vitamin K2 and also to make sure that your magnesium levels are high as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and look at the benefits of taking vitamin D for health and longevity. Vitamin D is not really a vitamin. Vitamins are special nutrients that our body needs but cannot make. So they must be obtained through food or supplements. Because our bodies can make vitamin D through our skin when it is exposed to sunlight, Vitamin D is actually considered a hormone. Now there are links in the description below to the medical studies and the articles I read whilst compiling this presentation. Vitamin D is actually available in two forms, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. And the main difference is really just the source. Vitamin D2 is manufactured by plants and fungi and is often the type that's included in fortified milk, bread and cereal. Vitamin D3 is created from animal products and is the closest to that which is naturally made by the body through exposure to sunlight. Because of this familiarity, doctors usually recommend supplementing with vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 can have an impact on as many as 2,000 different genes within our body and it has a direct role on far more aspects of health than many might realize. Vitamin D receptors are found in nearly every one of our cells and as soon as a vitamin D binds to a receptor it turns genes on or off prompting changes at our cellular level. Studies completed over the last two decades have proven that this process turns off cancer-causing genes, turns on immune protective genes, and even tells cells which vitamins and minerals to absorb. This all has a great effect on many important bodily processes. Let's take a look at a few. Very few foods actually contain vitamin D. Because of this, some foods are fortified, which means vitamin D is added during the production process. Foods that do contain vitamin D include salmon, sardines, egg yolks, shrimp, milk and yogurt, but these will be fortified. It can be hard to get enough vitamin D each day through sun exposure and food alone. So taking a vitamin D supplement can certainly help. Correct vitamin D levels result in strong bones and healthy teeth because it helps regulate and control our body's ability to absorb phosphorus and calcium. Phosphorus and calcium provide density and strength to both the skeletal system and teeth. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to a loss of bone density which can contribute to osteoporosis and fractures. Severe vitamin D deficiency can also lead to other diseases. In children, it can cause rickets. Rickets is a rare disease that causes the bones to become soft and to bend. Vitamin D modulates our innate and our adaptive immune responses. Deficiency in vitamin D is associated with increased autoimmunity as well as an increased susceptibility to infection. One study showed evidence that vitamin D supplementation could reduce the risk of influenza and COVID-19 infections and also death. The link between vitamin D deficiency and autoimmune disease is well documented, which means if you are deficient in vitamin D, you are more likely to contract an autoimmune disease. Some evidence supports the idea that increased vitamin D3 can help slow the progression of prostate tumours, while other reports show promise that combining the nutrient with more fibre 
can reduce the risk of developing polyps that could lead to colon cancer. Another helpful combination is vitamin D and calcium. A four-year trial found that when postmenopausal women supplemented with both, their likelihood of developing cancer dropped by 60%. Vitamin D has also been frequently studied for its apparent relationship to breast cancer. In a study of 166 women undergoing treatment, nearly 70% had low vitamin D levels. This led the scientists to theorize that there could be a link. You could consider adding vitamin D supplements to your diet if you're trying to lose weight. In one study, people taking a daily calcium and vitamin D supplement were able to lose more weight than subjects taking the placebo. The scientists said the extra calcium and vitamin D had an appetite suppressing effect. There has been some controversy of late over the amount of vitamin D you need for healthy functioning. Some research indicates you need more vitamin D than was once thought. Normal blood serum levels range from 20, but some organizations say 50, to 100 micrograms per deciliter. But depending on your blood level, you may actually need more. The Institute of Food and Agriculture recommend the following daily international unit intake for vitamin D. Personally, I had a blood test to see what my levels were and then started a supplement with vitamin D3 and K2 and I now take 5,000 international units of vitamin D3 a day. I recommend that before you start a supplement, you have a blood test. Then you consult the doctor to see what level of supplementation would actually be right for you. You may not even need to take a supplement if your levels are high enough. A review published in the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association found vitamin D cannot be metabolized without sufficient magnesium levels, meaning vitamin D remains stored and inactive for as many as 50% of Americans, and I'm assuming similar numbers around the world. Patients with optimum magnesium levels require less vitamin D supplementation to achieve sufficient vitamin D levels. Deficiency in either of these nutrients is reported to be associated with various disorders, including skeletal disformities, cardiovascular diseases, and metabolic syndrome. Research shows that magnesium consumption from natural foods has decreased over the past few decades, owing to industrialized agriculture and changes in people's dietary habits. The magnesium status is low in populations who consume processed foods that are high in refined grains, bad fats, phosphate and processed sugar. So do not age.org have started to carry vitamin D3, vitamin K2 and magnesium tablets or capsules. Let's see what they've got to offer. So at present they're selling 60 capsules uh, and each capsule contains 5,000 international units of vitamin D3, 120 micrograms of vitamin K2 and 250 milligrams of magnesium. And that will cost you 15 pounds sterling, which is around $19.30. If you use the discount code MYNMN, you can get that for a cost of £13.50, which is around $17.30. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative uh, or both. It's probably going to be the first or it is going to be the first of three videos I'm going to make. First one was on vitamin D. I'm going to make another one on the benefits of vitamin K2 and I'm also going to make a separate video on the benefits of making sure you supplement adequately with magnesium. Um, so watch out for those. They'll be coming out in the next week or two. Uh, well, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care. As always, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.